Okay, welcome back and uh, welcome to episode five of the Mesh Tongue. Brian Boyle here, and uh, just wanted to uh, to give a shout out. To some uh, you may have noticed I've changed things up a little bit, uh, and putting on one of my favorite uh, one running shirts. What uh, what makes a great race for you? What uh, what is one of the things that uh, gets you coming back? Uh, you can see this uh, this thing's the Albertus 5K. Shout out to Albertus uh, uh, in Pennsylvania there. Uh, this is their 10th anniversary in 1994. I've kept this shirt around because because uh, I love it. It's green. It's soft. It's uh, one of my favorite colors. Uh, great material. Uh, I can't say that I kept number 11. I can't say that I kept number 12, 13, 14, uh, or 15. And I uh, I ran all of those, but. Uh, uh, I can definitely tell you that I kept this shirt. So what what uh, what makes a great race for you? What makes a uh, uh, an interesting uh, um, you know kind of uh, you know thing that you'd look for? Is it the medal? Uh, is it the uh, distance? Is it the course? Um, you know what is it? What makes that uh, that thing for you? And uh, if you haven't considered using a race as a as a training, um, you know kind of uh, run. Why not? I would encourage you, definitely, definitely encourage you. If uh, if you're looking for uh, a way to get out, even if you're saying, "Well, I don't like racing," um, you know, I, I just I can't um, I can't get myself. I get too nervous. Uh, I don't want to compete against other people. Uh, I would encourage you to get out there and race, uh, or at least to sign up for runs. Uh, it gets you uh, you know around other people. It's the social aspect again, going back to building those relationships. Uh, the other interesting thing is that sometimes it'll actually help pull you through. So uh, years ago, what we would do is, uh, if we were looking to get like a 15k in, uh, we would go out. Uh, so a group of runners and myself would go out and, and uh, we'd run a 5k, try and time it right around the same time as the start of the actual 5k, uh, and we'd run through that, continue on through the finish line, uh, and actually head out and continue in through the, uh, um, you know, and do another 5k to get that 15k. That was uh, it's an interesting distance, especially if you were training for a marathon. Um, you have to also kind of do it on some smaller races you know some of the bigger races would be a little tough to get through the finish line but uh, but certainly an interesting uh, interesting thing and, uh, and I always uh, thought that, that was really cool because it kind of pull us through the middle 5k of that uh, that 15k uh, so there'd be two or three of us that uh, that would head out and run that uh, but uh, you know a, uh, something like I said a smaller race I wouldn't do it in, in you know one of the larger races out there um, but a small race may be an option for you, uh, especially if you need something just to kind of pull you through that middle distance. But uh, uh, hey, leave your comments. Keep uh, keep them coming. You can always email me at uh, brian at company5k.com. Uh, that's the number 5k, uh, uh, like the race, uh, company5k.com. Uh, and as always, hey, thanks for checking out uh, www.runpainless.com. Uh, and uh, hey, don't go hurting yourself to check this uh, check this out, but share it with your friends and family. Thanks for checking us out, and uh, hey, episode five, it's a wrap. Thanks.